Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mob Impressions. My name is Mob, and today we're checking out a game called The Eyes of Aria. This game got a lot of praise for being a really amazing puzzle game. So there's a Switch port that comes out today as I'm uploading this. This is my first time trying the game out. Let's run around and see what the heck happens here. Uh, yeah. Am I in? What the heck? I'm not even pointing at my switch, I'm docked. Do I have to play like this? Do, 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 do I have to play like this? How do you click? New game? I clicked on it, what? Am I gonna play the whole game like this? Oh, that's crazy. All right, so let's see how it goes. Interesting. So the game, I think, is it that long? I wanna say about maybe three to seven hours. It's pretty broad. But I'm not entirely sure. But it's supposed to be like, let's see. I affirm nothing and content myself with believing that many more things are possible than one would think. Micromegas Chapter 7. So this is like maybe not a crazy linear puzzle game, but more of like you explore this castle. and You, you just explore and see what's going on. So let's jump in and enjoy the ride. So let's see. 100 Stones Interactive. So this is... um. Pretty much a video to let you know how the Switch version works. You can see how the control scheme works. I'm assuming, what is it on PC Steam? You probably don't play with the remote like this, right? A game by Ben Drost. So you can see the graphics and stuff. I know I haven't played the other one, the other port, or sorry, the original, so I don't know what kind of like visual options there are, but you can see what it's set at right now. And it looks pretty okay. Welcome, the eyes of Aria. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I'm down, I'm down, let's see. Ooh, it's pretty. Hmm. So I guess we just dock here and get going. So I don't know if there's gonna be a huge overarching story or if we're gonna learn about our protagonist. Everything's a mystery to me, so it's gonna be um, quite the trip here. Ah. So yeah, you can play with the stick here. Can I turn that off? I wonder if I could, you know what, let's keep it on. This is part of the Switch experience. But let's see what kind of settings we have here. So if I press start, I have to press, what button do I have to press for this? If I press the A button, it cancels it. If I press the Y, X button, the X button is, why, why is X confirm? Hotspot vibrate, adaptive hotspot, puzzle item pickup. So I am also playing through a capture card. I'm not passed through through TV. I'm looking at the uh, capture over here on XSplit. So it's a little delayed just by like barely because I'm using the amazing Elgato HD60 S Plus, which is an amazing thing. All right, so we can pause, you can interact and select. What, am I just playing with one controller? Handheld mode, TV mode. TV mode, handheld. What does handheld mode look like? Whoa, you have to play with the thing. Okay, so that's how those controls work. Other than that, here's this. So this is interact and select. Show and hide inventory. B button is open the book collection. Return from puzzles, close menu. Rotate, zoom in and out. Okay, let's see if we can remember this. Okay, and you can reset the pointer, which is great. Now you can highlight it just in case. Yeah, you know what? Let's add these. Just in case. Hidden pickup chime. Because we suck balls at everything. Pointer sensitivity, brightness, gamma, and audio. Okay, so pretty interesting controls if you're interested. That's what it shows. Looks like there's like five coinage here and some kind of thing. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. So you can recenter. I love how you can recenter. So I can point it up here and it recenters it. So you can like, you know, oh, that's really good. It's not like the Wii where you don't have to point it at an actual screen or anything. So I don't think I need this remote, my left remote. That's pretty interesting. So how do you move forward? Or maybe you do use it. I don't know how to move forward. Hmm. Do I... I don't know if this is a walking around game or if it's a puzzle game, like looking around. Hmm. Well, so far, I'm stumped the Reno. Hold on, let's see what's in the boat here. Oh, here we are. We gotta open this. You press... It's really cool how you can control it like this. I really um, do like that. Okay, so we're gonna open this up. It looks like there's some keys. Hold on, let me recenter here. Some keys. And I guess that's 
it. Let's close this. Oh, we took Hey, there's a photo. Return to the wide view. Oh, that's right. So we can zoom in here. We can grab whatever we want. Um, from Jackson Sheehy. Zoom in on the document. And how do you look up? How do you like zoom? How do you go up? Good luck. Thanks again for taking this job. You wouldn't have believed how difficult it is to find a technician. What? On the phone, signal signal. Okay, let's see. Uh thing is castle supposed to be abandoned. Some old nut. I don't know what's broadcasting the signal. So there's a signal here? A payment okay, so we are a technician. And we have to turn off a signal. Okay. Well that's cool. Okay, so we closed it. And now I click here. Alright, it's like mist. Let's see here. So it, it's it's like highlighted for me. Just so we can, you know, not get super crazy stuck. Ooh, interesting. Private property, no trespassing. Oh yeah, well I got keys. Can I drag it on there? Drag. This is a really sick way to play. I like it a lot. And the fact that, you know, it uses, you know, really haptic feedback. So you can, like center it whatever you want like if you want to play up here you like you can go like this we can center it here and play like this you can get it to your comfort zone here which is really nice hmm what's this seems to be like it's either a messed out picture or it's a cog like a really dark cog let's see if we can click on anything else here there are cans here's a note made it to the door What's this on the top here? Michael, should you choose to accept it and not wuss out? It's to spend the night inside the castle. Joel and Jeremy have done it. Now it's your turn to be brave. See you in the morning, Alyssa. So this is like some kind of... What the hell? If you hear a raspy crackling, it's the disembodied laughter of crazy Catherine. So it's like some urban legend, some kids are messing around. So, made it to the door, but I can't get inside. I'm trying to sleep out here, but it's cold and damp. And I can hear noises from inside. Rats, probably. Dang, oh look, there's like pizza and stuff here. So, we can get a little bit more of this. Okay, so this is a place where people come here often and they like mess around with it. What's this? Oh, I can move it. Oh, I found something. I found a cog. Oh! Oh, dang, I guess we can't even open the door until we find both cogs. Dude, that's so sick. I see, you see me grab it? Oh my god, that's great. Okay, so we're supposed to put the cog up here. Like, it's good, but my hand's getting tired already. And they suck. Well, luckily, we can zoom it, and I can put my hand down. So, I'm still using my, the, you know, the thingy, but... Can I put up here? Maybe we need both, and then we combine it first before. Okay, so never mind. Um, hmm. Where do we look? Oh, check this out. Oh, I guess this is where we put this thing. What's that? I gotta turn this? Oh, we found the second piece. Can we combine them? Yeah! First puzzle down, boys. Oh, this is cool. This game's neat. God, they should have like way more games like this on Switch. Oh, point and click, dude. All right, let's grab this. Eh. I guess I gotta go in more. All right, luckily, we didn't get stuck out here for like an hour, so that's good. There might be like one or two more things out here, but uh, I say we just jump right in. Let's see what's happening. All right. Well, here's a, what is that, a generator? Here's some stuff here. Let's look around the room before clicking on anything. There's a workbench. I guess we entered the back area, not the front gate. This probably leads into the house. Here's, um, is that the breaker? And then there's a door here with a glowing item. All right, so what's our first goal here? Well, let's let's just click on the generator and see what's happening. Ah, breaker switches. Oh, look, I can move them up and down. It's weird. Oh, I thought I could snap it in the middle. It snaps up or down. So I guess we turn everything on. There's gonna, there's definitely gonna be a correct sequence that we have to do this on. So this ain't gonna do garbage here's a button start and stop high voltage so it says one two and three and then one three two it's scratched out a little bit but those definitely are going to be part of the puzzle 
Is there anything else we need to look at here? Interesting. Maybe there is more notes? Hmm. So these are all wired up to here, so I'm assuming I can't go in until I mess with this. Check it out. It's the same sort of breakers. So maybe I have to set this up with this and that. Unless this is connected to something else. Hold on, there's a wire? It's connected to this. Open up. Another breaker. Oh man. I don't even know where to begin. Oh wait, there's a manual. Oh perfect, there's a manual. Thank God, I thought I was missing something. All right, let's click on this bad boy. All right. Primary access hatch. So that's what I was looking at. Okay, one is the primary access hatch. Two is the power. Oh, jeez. All right, hold on. Oh, look, I can get, I can back up any time I want. Okay, that's good. Wait, look at the bottom. You see that on the bottom of the book? Someone wrote down a sequence. Down, down, up, up, down, up. I wonder if I can do that now. All right, hold on. There's a hatch here. Zoom in. I can't connect with the hatch. It doesn't let me do it. Okay, so what I can connect with are the three breaker things. So there's only the primary access hatch, which we don't have nothing to do about it. The primary power. Let's see if we can interact with something called the primary power. That's the start stop thing. So that's the primary power. Number three is the multi-phasic regulator. And that's this top part here. So this is the phaser. Is there a part missing in here? Maybe I can't even activate it until I like put a part in. Let's see if there's any hidden objects. Hmm. Maybe it's missing an item. Oh, coins. Five? What do you mean by five coins? Interesting. Clicking around, make sure I don't miss anything. Wish I can click over there. Wonder if this is openable. Oops. Is it locked? I can't seem to drag anything. I'm seeing if I can hold it down and move it, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Hmm. There's definitely something over there. All right. I guess the only thing we're gonna have to do is try to figure out these switches and press it in the correct combination, which is gonna take a long time. But how about we do that bottom bottom right one? Down, down, up, up, down, up. All right, let's just do that. So down, down, up, up, down, up. Let's see if that does anything when we press the button. Here we go. Nothing. Now it could just be like the power is out, but we might as well try this on every single one of these first. Down, down, up, up down up one more time was there a third breaker I don't even remember damn am I missing oh here's another one I don't even know if these are on you know <laughs> is it really down 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 up up down up down down up up down up it opened so that was the secret one all oh, right Nice. All right. All right. How do I get in? How do I get in? There we go. All right. We're making progress. Oh, just coins. Hidden item. Five coins. Maybe that's the section. Like we completed the section. All right. Let's see what else we got. can't see a damn thing. There's a box there, but hold on. Maybe there's something onto the ground. Hmm. Guess it's just a box. All right, open up. Open up. Oh, no. Is it locked? Ooh, no way opening it. 
Interesting. Now, is there a clue for the next sequence? Oh, pff, look at this. Come on. <laughs> How is that even connected to the box? That, is, that does not make any sense. But I'll take it. That's the fuse to start the thing, I believe. Let's go see. Okay. Let's try putting this in here. Wait, some items can be manipulated. Okay, select it and look at it. Manipulated. Oh my god, that's so cool. All right, so what do we do here? So we have to connect one, two, three in the left side and two, three, one. So one, two, three. So how does that work? Oh, one goes to one, two goes to two, three goes to three. So top left to the bottom. So if I can connect those two, those other ones just might match up. So top left to the bottom right. Okay, top left to the bottom right. And that's not the end here. So that's good. All right. Oh no, it goes this way. Top left to the bottom right. So one, nope. That's a dead end. Wait, a dead end can't be a, can't be one of those. Okay. So the middle goes to top. So top, top left, bottom right. It's not even it. It's not correct. It's not correct. Anything that has like the killing that gonna work. Like the dead ends, those aren't gonna work. How many different um areas are there? Mm, this does it. Oh, this is good. I think we got it. Put that on. Woo -hoo -hoo! Yo. Yo! Oh man. Man, dude, I feel like it's Marty Pants. Ooh, lights coming up. Awesome. Wait, so what are these for then? Are these like red herrings? It doesn't let me click on these. I think these are here to like mess with you. Because I can't click on it again. So they don't want me to like. Yeah, those might just be red herrings. Oh, we're in. Nice little tutorial puzzles, you know? Pretty good. Oh, sorry for the squeaky chirp. Oh, God. My back hurts. All right, let's explore a little more. Let's see. There's a crack in this pillar here. They're highlighting it. That'd be cool if I could break it. Maybe you need like a hammer or something. All right, there's a top portion here. Looks like uh, two round things and a little divot in the middle. Okay. So where did I come from? Is that where I came from? So I don't want to go this way. Let me see. Okay, it's locked. Yeah, where did I come from? There. I'm assuming that I went from there then. Ooh, a nice hidden item. Remember, I turned this on, so it's going to be hidden for you if you don't turn that on. But, you know, it's nice to have it, I suppose. Look, there's another letter. After I grab these coins, 30 coins. So these are areas. Okay. Hey, what up? Morris Express, the delivery manifest. Huh. So someone ordered something. Food, books, computers, electrical parts. In or kiloscope or cilio scope, fifteen hundred copper wire cables, and Wellington boots six pairs. Whoa! Someone ordered something. Well, let's open up these. Doesn't let me. All right, what does this do? It's a scale. Oh, I took it. All right. Well, guess what? This fits here. Maybe it's gonna be some sort of weight puzzle. Okay. Oh, was that it? Oh, okay, I guess we did it. Hmm. Is there really nothing else? Those must be all the boxes. Is 
Just making sure we're not missing anything, huh? We probably are. This room's kind of like... It's a little big. Hmm. I think it was just that it wasn't hidden item. Dude, it really feels like you should be able to break that. But anyway, we found the scale. Ready to go to the next area. Wow, oh, that's a big puzzle on the wall, isn't it? Okay. Big giant room, here we go. There's some music playing now. Sweet. <laughs> okay, let's see if this is the way I came from. We just gotta make sure. Okay, that was the way. I wish it was more apparent. Because he just steps into the middle of the room. Okay, we can go upstairs. There's a door there. There's a big grandfather clock with an item in it and the door to the back. There's a picture here of a milady. Door. Holy nuts. This place looks deep. Let's see what this is. This has electrical wires on it. I can't interact with it. it must be something to place. Let's see what's over here. What are these? Stoves? I can't click on this, but I can click on this. I don't know what those are. Those could be stoves. I can go this way. Locked. So it looks like these are connected to here. So I guess if I find whatever to put on here, I can open up that door. Same with this. This probably connects with this middle one here. So that's locked. We got a trash can. We got a desk here I can't click on. There's another door. Looks like there's levers on both sides. Stairs. A clock. Open up. I wonder what's in that. That's probably one of the levers. It's locked. I can't move the camera around. I'm assuming maybe we'd have to break it now. Hmm. I guess we can't do anything but go upstairs. Alright, here we are. Ooh, knights in shining armor. Hey, there's a plate. And another plate? Whoa. Starting to get a little big for me. Can we click on this? Yes, we can. Now, what do we do with this? Well, this one and that one, we're going to have to set them both some way. I'm just going to randomly put this here. It's not going to be like, you know, the set area, is it? What's this? Can't click on any of these. <laughs> like weird little demon heads. Here's another door. This must be connected by the other plate. So there's three doors and three plates we've seen. All right, this has to be something. Let's see. The only thing suspicious here are the symbols on the shield. Some kind of weird tridents. I don't know if there's a name for those things. Moons, half moons, non half moons, crescent moons. Well, this guy, he doesn't have anything. However, he looks like he was holding something. Maybe he was also holding a shield. Maybe it's missing. Hmm. All right. Can't click over here. Can't click over here. Let's grab the plate. All right, first plate down. I can't see what else to do. And unless this is gonna do something for me here. When I stare at this, it's showing me this. So these might be connected. But, you know, anyway, let's go back down. Use this plate and see if we can open up one of these doors, huh? They're different shapes, but I think this is the one that fits here. They're different shapes, but I think this is the one that fits here. <laughs> All right, cool. Sweet. All right, we're going back up. That's a weird contraption. What just happened? The middle one glowed. Hmm, oh, well. All right, let's go to the door we just opened up. What's that? Radio. Looks like we can tune it. What's a radio? 
Whoa. <laughs> Alright, looks like we don't have any sort of, uh, you know, hint here. I've been trying to discover the source of the radio interference. It's only subtle, but you can hear it on every station. Uh, let me turn this shit. Let me shut this shit down. Turn that down. Oh, it's too loud. Uh, it's there. Maybe just have bad hearing. It's gotten worse. Today, I went for a walk around the island to try to find the source. The weird thing is coming from everywhere, even right down on the shore. But it was a lot stronger up near the castle. If that's the source, then I reckon Uncle knows. He says the keep is off limits. Okay, so that didn't help in clues at all. A little bit of lore, though. Look at this. Oh. Oh. Okay, so you can line it up, but I don't know if there's a certain way they want us to line it up. Indian Ocean, huh? Well, just gotta simply line it up. See if I can figure this thing out. A little bit more. It's so hard to do it on the Switch, though. The controls are, like, a little awkward. Oh, God. Did I even line it up right? No, probably not. Definitely not. Is it this way? I'm trying to line it up here, but I'm stupid. That kind of looks good. That almost looks pretty good. Oh my god, dude. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it's like, whenever you even get slightly far away, the controls, like, stop. So I'm just a little distracted by that right now. Is there a specific way they want me to orient it, or they just want me to line it up? Okay, back to the Indian Ocean here. Alright, line it around again. I'm looking at the bottom right portion, and I'm trying to, like, line that up. Is that it? That's good enough. Okay. Is that good? I think I lined it up. But nothing's happening. I swear, I hope it's not like pixel perfect. Well, anyway, there's another thing here. Let's grab that. Oh, it's locked. Aw, oh, man. I guess I have to finish this puzzle. Oh, coins. Where was this? Pliers? It's like a dagger. Why? I tried to zoom in, it won't let me. I can't zoom in? Dude, are you kidding me? There you go. Oh god, I can't. I can't. Alright, anything else? Another photo. Two of eight. Yeah, I don't know why it's uh, it's not a, uh, it's not working here. This looks lined up. <laughs> I could be totally messed. Anyway, the guys, this is a perfect time to end this episode of Mob Impressions here. Oh, look at that. Ooh, I want to do more. Okay, yeah. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like. It helps a lot. If you haven't already, subscribe for daily videos. Let me know what you guys think of Eyes of Ar Ari. Oh my god, I got the name wrong. I'm sorry. Eyes of Ara. I was going to say Aria. The Eyes of Ara down below. From what I've played so far, it looks like a really good engaging um, puzzle game for the Switch. The controls are a little wonky, but it's probably much better if you're playing handheld or if you're playing straight to the TV. Like I said, I have a very, very tiny delay, but it's enough to mess me up because I'm using a capture card and I'm looking at my preview rather than the pass through. So, yeah, I think it's good. But let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.